start the recording. All right, happy Monday, happy November 1st. Um, for those of you who don't know, it is my birthday, which is why I'm wearing my crown, in case you're wondering why I have a crown on. So, which is why Halloween is one of my favorite holidays because, you know, it's right after this. So go ahead and come into your seated position, whether you wanna sit cross-legged or on a pillow or a block if you have one. And then start to wobble a little bit side to side. So you're getting a little bit of stretch through your hips. I woke up with very stiff hips this morning. I'm gonna blame the dog for taking up more than his fair share of the bed. Felt like I had to wrestle him all night. So once you get your wiggles out, start to come to a comfortable seat. Think about your hip bones dropping down. So this part of your waist from here down, it's getting heavy. Feel the weight in your butt. Rock back and forth a little bit and see if you can find your shoulders to line up over your hip bones. Nice. And then roll them back a couple times. And then roll them forward a couple times. And then just let them hang with some stillness, weighted down, relaxing. Nice. And if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes here. You can gaze softly at the ground in front of you. Think about breathing really deeply. So you're breathing all the way from your pelvic floor, all the way up through your spine, through your torso to the top of your head. And then you're exhaling like it's a plunger, pressing all the air back down and out of you. Big, long, deep inhale. Lifting yourself up. And then exhale everything back down. Try and elongate your breath each time. See if you can breathe a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. One more deep inhale and then exhale everything out. Let your fingertips reach out to either side, touching the mat. Stretch them out, stretch your fingers apart from each other. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead so that your fingertips touch each other. Make contact there today. Breathe in and then exhale, press everything back down, bringing your fingertips back down to the ground. Let your fingertips make contact with the ground, press them down. And then inhale, bring them all the way back up overhead. So we're starting off nice and slow. Let your fingertips touch, connect your right side and your left side. And then open back up, press your fingertips all the way down. Keeping your right fingertips on the ground, reach out to the left all the way up and over to the right. Maybe your right elbow comes down to the mat. Maybe it gets a little bit closer than it ever has before. Maybe your right fingers walk out a little bit more. Breathe here. As you breathe, maybe you find a little pulse, a little bounce. And then come all the way back up through center. Left fingertips on the ground. Walk them out. Reach your right arm up by your ear, up, 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 and then over to the left. Let your fingertips walk out a little bit further. Maybe your elbow comes down, stretch through your side, through your hip. Breathing. Your body may pulse a little bit. 
and then come all the way back up through center. Reach your left arm out and up. And this time as you come over to the right, you're gonna look over your right shoulder. So you're adding a twist into this long stretch. And then come back up through center. Reach your right arm out and up over to the left. Look over your left shoulder, adding the twist. And then come back up through center. Reach both arms out in front of you, fingers pointing straight towards me. Flex your palms. Exhale, zombie hands. Flex your palms. Exhale, zombie hands. Inhale, flex, and make your way into your tabletop position. As you come into your tabletop position, wag your tail. Let that movement shift all the way up through your torso, into your shoulders, maybe even up into your head. And then line up your hands so that they are under your shoulders. Spread your fingertips out. Take a moment here to practice rotating your upper arm bones so that your armpit eyeball is pointing forwards. I know we talk about this a lot when we're in downward dog, but it's easier to practice that here when your knees are on the ground supporting you. So think about rotating the upper arm, elbow eyeball pointing forward, and then come back. It's a lot of work. Rotate and then come back. Nice. All right. Drop your belly, open your heart, coming into your cow. And on our exhale tonight, we're gonna press back into like a cat child's pose. Inhale forward to cow. Exhale back to this cat child's pose. So your forehead doesn't come all the way down. Your fingers reach out in front of you and then come back to cow. Exhale, press back to cat, coming onto your fingertips, reaching your hips back, back to neutral. From your neutral tabletop, readjust if you need to, reach your right leg back behind you, rock back and forth over your right toes. Finding that sawing motion. See if you can really get all five toes to touch the mat and then come up. Reach your heel back, stretch through the back of your leg. And now notice, is your stomach, is your belly dropping down? Can you lift it up? Can you lift your front body up to meet your spine? And then find stillness, reach your right leg up behind you so it's level with your hip if that's possible. Hold your leg here, tap just your big toe down and then lift the leg back up. Tap the big toe down, lift the leg back up. Keep your toes flexed one more time, tap it down, lift it up. Now notice, did you start to lean over to the left? Can you press into your right palm and feel your hips level? Now float your left fingertips out in front of you. Maybe you can even lift them up off the ground. Nice. Balancing here, stay here. Or if you want, exhale, draw your elbow into your knee. Inhale, straighten, flex your foot, reach your fingertips, drop your right hip. Exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last time, lengthen, hold here, flex big toe down, press into your left shin, press into your right palm, find your balance, and then float everything down to the mat, coming back to all four, all fours. Go ahead and press your hips back. Not a full child's pose. So a little stretch, walk your fingertips forward, find that stretch on both sides. Maybe you Rock a little bit side to side if that feels good. Or maybe you stay in your tabletop position if that feels good. And then come back up to tabletop if you're not already there. 
When you're ready, reach your left foot behind you, all five toes on the ground. We're gonna think about rocking back and forth. Bless you. Rocking back and forth. I know no one else can hear that, but somebody did sneeze. I'm not just making that up. Rock back and forth. Now notice if you're lifting your lower body, your front up to meet your back. So you don't want your back arched, you want a nice long spine. Stop the movement, flex your foot, lift your leg up. Think about your big toe pointing down to the ground, holding it here. Press into your left hand, press into your right hand. And now tap the left big toe down, lift it up. Tap the left toe down, lift it up. Tap the left toe down, lift it up. Flex your foot even more, reach your leg back. Feel your thighs engage. Level your hips. Walk your right fingertips out on the floor in front of you. If you have your balance, reach your right fingertips up and out and away from you. Breathe here and then if you're ready, exhale, bring your knee to your elbow. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Hold here. And now drop everything back down and sit your hips back if that felt good. You can let your hips roll a little bit side to side. And then come back to tabletop. Reach your right foot behind you, keeping it on the ground or slightly raised. Bend your right knee, slide that right foot up between your hands coming into our, I guess it's a form of a lunge. Press into your right foot, sit up nice and tall. So we have that 90-90 thing going on with our legs. Press into your shin, press into your foot and make sure that your hips are pointing forward. If you have your balance here, reach your arms up. If you can, see if you can bring your fingertips to touch. For some of us, that's hard because we have tight shoulders and chests and different areas of our body. So if you can't, keep your arms nice and wide. And then gaze up just a little bit. So not really a back bend, a little bit more of a heart opener. Bring your spine nice and straight. Let your fingers come down, shift your hips back, flex your right foot, come into your runner's lunge. Breathe here. Pay attention to the alignment of your hips. Make sure you're not bumping too far off to one side or the other side. Roll back onto your front leg. Walk your left knee back a little bit. Plant your left hand down, twist up to the right, keeping your left knee on the ground. Drop your right hip a little bit lower. See if you can press into your left hand, twist your torso, and then bring your right hand down and move your right foot back so that you're back in your tabletop position. Reach your left leg behind you. Lift it up a little bit or not and slide the left foot up between your hands. Press your left foot down and straighten up your spine. Coming into that 90-90. So you need to press into your right shin, press into your left foot, square your hips. And then if you can, bring your arms up by your ears. Check that you didn't arch your back in that move and that you're still lengthening your tailbone tucking your pelvis, reaching up. Maybe your fingers can touch, maybe not. And then open your heart, gaze up just a little bit. Not a big back bend, just a tiny little heart opener. Release your hands, come down, shift your hips back, flex your left foot. You might need to move your left heel away from you a little bit. Find a deep stretch through the back of your left leg. Breathe here. 
Roll forward onto your left foot, walk your right knee back a little bit. Plant your right hand, twist up to the left. See if you can find space in your right armpit, pressing the right floor, right hand away from you. Reach up, reach up, reach up. And then exhale your left hand down. Return both knees underneath you back into your tabletop position. Shake it a little bit if you want. Reach your right leg back behind you. Draw the right knee in. Slide the right foot up between your hands. Inhale, straight up. Touch your fingers if possible. Gaze up at the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Flex your right foot. Shift your hips back. Stretch through the back of your right leg. And now roll onto your right foot. Option here to curl your left toes, lift your back knee coming into a low lunge. Can you come up onto your fingertips? Find some buoyancy here so you don't wanna be all slunk down. See if you can find some lightness. And now connect your left hand, twist up to the right. Reaching up, finding your twist. Beautiful. And come down, return yourself to your four tabletop, four-legged, you're not really four-legged, quadruped position. Shake it out. Um, yeah, quadruped, one of these, one of those things. Reach your left leg back behind you. Draw your left foot up between your hands. Inhale straight up. Touch your fingers, gaze up, open your heart, and then exhale down, shift your hips back, flex your foot, stretching behind your left leg. Toes are pointing up to the sky. You can always put your hands on blocks or furniture or whatever if you can't get them all the way down to the floor. Roll forward onto your left foot, tuck your right toes, option to lift your right knee off the ground coming into your low lunge. Think about lifting up, even though your fingertips are still on the floor, you want your weight in your feet. Plant your right hand, twist up and open to the left. Reaching up, dropping your left hip, breathing here. And then let the left hand come down, lower your knees, both knees back underneath you, back into your tabletop position. So from this tabletop, we're going to try and hover our table. You don't have to, but you should try. So curl your toes under. We're gonna lift our knees for two inches as we inhale, as we exhale, as we inhale. And then we're gonna lower them back down. Walk your hands back, sit on your heels. Lift your spine up straight, stretch the bottoms of your toes. I know flip-flop season is over, but you've gotta work on your toe health. It's important. And then come back to tabletop. We're gonna hover our table one more time. Set up, lift your knees. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and lower your knees, walk yourself back, sit back on your heels, interlace your fingers, and maybe you want to do a little figure eight, little wrist and finger health, playing around with that, maybe you can switch the direction, I can't, I can only do this in one direction. All right, come back to your tabletop position, spread your fingers, curl your toes, start to peel your hips up, coming into your downward facing dog. Bend your knees, shift your weight left to right. Check in with your hands, make sure they're shoulder distance apart, that your pointer fingers are pointing away from you. Your toes are pointing towards your hands. Maybe you can drop your heels a little bit further tonight. Maybe you can lift your hips a little bit more. 
We're gonna float our right leg up behind us, hold it in for a breath, and then exhale, tap it back down. Inhale, float that leg back up, check that your hands are evenly weighed, and then bring the toe back down. One last time, float your leg up. So the right leg is lifted. Think about dropping your left heel down. Check that the weight between your right and left hands are even, and then float the right foot down. Take a moment with all, with both feet on the ground. Breathe here. And then float the left leg up behind you. Hold in, exhale, tap it down. Lift the left leg up behind you. Check the weight in both hands and float the left leg down. Lift the left leg up behind you. Hold it up here. Reach your right heel down. And now float your left foot down. Check in the weight between each foot, each hand. Inhale, pull forward to your high plank. You might need to walk your feet back. Check that your toes are under your ankles, your shoulders and wrists are in one line, and then lift back up to your downward dog. So we wanted to measure our down dog there. And look forward at your hands and start to slowly walk one foot at a time, bringing your feet all the way up to your hands. Let your head hang heavy. Gently bend your knees, reach for opposite elbows. Sway side to side. Let go of the day. Let go of everything else that's going on around you. And then if you want, release your hands from your elbows and start to roll up one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. Pressing your big toe, your pinky toe, your heel into the mat, making that connection with the ground, using your belly, rolling up one vertebra at a time, stacking them on top of each other until you are completely upright and standing. From here, you can fidget if you need to. Everybody likes to adjust their shirts, adjust whatever. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way out and up, palms touch. And then exhale your hands back down. Inhale, bring your arms all the way out and up, palms touch. And exhale your hands back down. One more time, inhale, bring your palms up. And this time when we exhale, we're gonna fold forward, coming all the way into our forward fold. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins or your thighs, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way back up to standing, palms touch. And then exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, flat back, hands on your shins or your thighs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way back up, palms touch. And then exhale, fold down. Inhale, hands on your shins or your thighs, flat back. And this time we're gonna plant our palms, step ourselves back to downward facing dog. From our down dog, we're gonna reach our heels back, float our right leg up behind us, draw the right knee in towards our chin and float the right hand up between our fingers. Inhale ourselves all the way up to high lunge. Breathe here. Maybe you can bring your fingertips to touch. And then bring your hands back down, step back to plank, go through your, your version of vinyasa, but let's start if you want with knees, lower down your chest and chin, untuck your toes, baby cobra. And then press up through tabletop, back into your downward facing dog. Breathe here.
Float your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee into your chest. Step your left foot up between your hands. Inhale up, high lunge. Breathe here. Bring your fingertips to touch if that's available for you. And then bring your hands back down. Step back to plank, your vinyasa, or lower your knees. Bend your elbows, bringing your chest and chin down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. And then curl your toes, either go straight back to plank or through tabletop. And we will all meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here. Float your right leg up behind you. Draw your right knee into your chest, slide your foot up, inhale up, high lunge. Pause here, straighten your front leg. Exhale, bend your leg, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, bring your fingertips to touch. See if you can bend deeper into your front leg and then bring your fingertips down. Step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin. Baby cobra. Pressing up through plank or tabletop. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee in towards your chin and then float your left foot up between your hands. Inhale up to high lunge. Reach your right heel back, straighten your left leg. Exhale back to your lunge. Inhale, lengthen and straighten. Exhale back to your lunge. Inhale, straighten. Exhale back to your lunge, let your fingertips touch. Sit a little bit deeper. And then let your fingers float all the way down. Step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin. Baby cobra, upward facing dog. Coming through tabletop or plank into downward facing dog. Breathe here in down dog. Your next exhale, look forward at your hands and slowly walk your hands all your, sorry, slowly walk your feet all the way up to meet your hands. Let your head hang heavy. See if you can lift your toes and reach your palms underneath your feet. So you're stepping on your hands. Your toes can massage your wrists a little bit. If you don't like this, don't worry about it. Just do your normal forward fold. This forces you, this gives you the opportunity to really lay your stomach on your thighs and curl into yourself. Paying attention to how your body feels and how your breath feels. Release your hands and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Coming up nice and slow like we did before. Coming all the way up to stand, getting our shoulders over our hips. Rock right to left from side to side, and then rock back to front. So feel out where your feet are, make a connection with the mat, and then shift your weight into your left leg. Think about drawing your right knee straight up in front of you. And you can interlace your fingers onto your right shin, squeezing the right leg in just a little bit more, and then let it float down. Readjust to center yourself, and then see if you can draw your left knee up, squeezing your left knee in, 
wrapping your fingers around your shin. And then let the left leg float down. From here, we're gonna inhale, bring our arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank. You can stay in plank or take a vinyasa. It's up to you. And then we will all meet in downward facing dog. From down dog, we're gonna lift our right leg up behind us. Exhale, draw our knee into our chest. Lift our right leg up behind us. Draw the right knee into the chest. Make sure when you come forward that your shoulders stay over your wrists. Reach your right leg up behind you. Draw the right knee into the chest and then slide your right foot up between your hands. Turn your left heel down so that you can roll your torso up into your warrior one. Reaching your arms up into the sky. Straighten your front leg. Exhale, bend deeper into your warrior one. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Bring your arms down by your side. Tilt your torso forward, reach your arms back like an airplane, or if you can, clasp them behind your back. Pause here, you're gazing out past the top of your mat. Think about um, dropping your right hip back so that your hips are in one line. You're pressing deeply into your right foot. And now lift yourself back up to warrior one. Open into warrior two, keeping your right knee over your right ankle. Fingertips reaching away from you. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Take an extra breath here tonight and see if you can walk your fingers a centimeter further down your left leg. Breathe here. And then slowly, you're gonna cartwheel your hands all the way down into your low lunge, coming all the way around into your twist, reaching your right arm up. Breathe here. And then float your right hand down. Step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa or a child's pose, or take a break in tabletop. All of those are viable options. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Hips reaching up to the sky, heels reaching back behind us. Spread your fingers, make sure your pointer fingers are pressing away from you. You're pressing into the fingertips, the knuckles, the entire palm of your hand. Float your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee into your chest. Float your left leg back up behind you. Draw your left knee into your chest. Float your left leg up behind you. Draw the left knee in and then slide it up between your hands. Turn your right heel down, press into the outer edge of your right foot and start to roll yourself up into your warrior one. Reaching your arms up into the sky. Think about your right hip pointing forward. Straighten your left leg. Exhale, bend a little bit deeper. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Maybe your hips open just a little bit more. One more time. And now bring your hands back behind you, hinging forward. Maybe your arms can interlace, your fingers can interlace. Gazing out in front of you. Press into the outer edge of your right foot. Breathe here. And now inhale your arms back up to warrior one. Open into your warrior two, sitting deeper into your left knee, 
left knee over left ankle. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Walk those fingertips back just a little more than you ever have before. And now take that big cartwheel all the way down, hands down to your mat, right hand plants, left hand keeps going, coming into your twist. And then bring the left hand down, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, halfway to chaturanga, baby cobra, upward facing dog. And we will all meet in downward facing dog. Pedal it out, right to left, left to right. Hello, Carrie. Hi. Float your right leg up behind you. Draw your knee into your chest. Float your right leg up behind you. Draw your knee into your chest. Float your right leg up behind you. Hold it up there for a split second and then bring the right foot all the way up through to center. Turn your left heel down. Roll yourself up to your warrior one. Sit deeper into your hips, reach your arms up. Straighten your front leg. Exhale, sit deeper. Lengthen and straighten. Exhale, deeper. Lengthen and straighten. And this time, see if you can, as you exhale, bring your hands back behind you. Maybe you're gonna come even further this time, bringing your right shoulder down to your right knee, hands interlaced, or if you have shoulder issues, they can be out in a wing position. Take one more breath here. And then as you reach your arms forward, come all the way back up to your warrior one, open into your warrior two, Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come back to warrior two, bend your right arm, place it on your right thigh, reach your left arm up, up, up. Can you sit a little bit lower, reaching up? And now cartwheel your left hand down. You're gonna reach the right arm up, coming into that twist. Maybe you're gonna roll onto the outer edge of your left foot coming into this weird, awkward, supported side plank. Dropping your hips down, stretching through your outer right hip. And then right hand down, step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa or stay here, your choice. Knees, chest, chin, baby cobra. I know I'm getting into the darkness over here. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee into your chest. Float your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee into the chest. Float your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee into your chest. Hold it here. And then step your left foot all the way forward. Turn your right heel down, roll yourself up to your warrior run, reach your hands into the sky, stretch your front leg, exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, lengthen. This time as you bend, bring your arms down and behind you, bowing yourself forward, maybe coming all the way into a humble warrior with your left shoulder on your left knee, reaching your arms up and back. One more breath here. Cartwheel your arms open. Turn your, coming into warrior two, turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Coming through to side angle, left forearm on left thigh. Reach your right arm up, straight up. Breathe here. And then you're gonna bring your right hand down as you start to rotate, coming into the twist. 
Take a breath in a normal twist. And then if you want, keep going so that you start dropping your right hip down to the mat, stretching through the outer edge of your left hip. One more breath here. And then come back through center, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. And we will all meet in downward facing dog. We're gonna walk our feet to the middle of our mat, widen them out to the width of our mat, walk your hands back, and then see if you can come into your squat. So from your squat, you can either have your hips, I'm sorry, not your hips, your heels. Your heels lifted or on the ground, depending on where you are tonight, or maybe you have them under a pillow, your feet are on a pillow. Bring your hands to your heart center. See if you can lift up just a little bit, opening your heart. Bring your left hand down, reach your right arm up, twist, look up to the right. Breathe here. Come back to center. Take a moment in center. Open your right hand, look up to the left, twist. And come back to center. We're gonna do that one more time and it's your option. So open up to the right. Maybe you're feeling adventurous tonight and you wanna bring the right hand all the way around to the left hip. Maybe your left hand and your right hand can join each other. You never know unless you try. Breathe here. And slowly release. Coming back to center. Extend your right arm out. Reach your left arm up and twist. Check out the adventure. Bring your left hand behind to your right hip. Bring your right hand to your left hand. Keep twisting and looking over the left shoulder. And then release and come back to center. We're gonna take a few breaths here. If you really wanna do crow, go ahead and do crow. Otherwise, we're all gonna slowly bring our hands behind us, sit down and extend our legs out in front. You might wanna put a sweater on as we start to cool down a little bit. So bring your legs out in front of you. This is what Neil calls the hardest position in yoga, sitting straight up, legs straight out. You're in this great L shape. Not that you can see me. Reach your arms up, lengthen through your spine, and then hinge forward at your hips, trying to keep your back straight. So you may not go that far. That isn't what we're doing yet. So we're really reaching out. Like there's something out there that we're gonna get. It's all that leftover Halloween candy. And now let your fingertips come down towards the ground, round your head, chin to chest, your crown down towards the ground, literally. Breathe here. And then roll up through your spine. Bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. So you're making like a four shape with your legs. We're gonna reach up, extend forward out to those toes again, flat back, and then exhale round forward. Roll up. Now we're gonna twist our torso so that our belly button is pointing towards our right knee. We're gonna reach our left hand out towards our toe, reach our right arm out and away. And we're gonna come into a little bit of a side bend here. Breathe here. I should have brought candles. 
probably not allowed to burn candles out here. Absolutely. You have candles in your bag. And then come all the way up, turn back to the front, stretch your legs out in front of you. You can windshield wipe them a little bit and bring your left foot in to the inside of your right thigh. Reach your arms up. Time changes next week, so everything will be different. Reach forward in case we still get those warm days. Oh, does it go the other way? No, we spring forward, fall back. Fall back. So, so seven becomes six. Oh yeah, never mind then. Never mind. <laughs> no, no. It might work. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm good. It gets harder, really. I know that. Well, then it won't work. Then it won't work. Then it won't work. Yeah, I feel like you wake up in the mornings are bright again. Yeah. Okay. I feel like one more time. I haven't decided, so roll back up. Turn your torso so your belly button faces your knee. Reach your right arm out to your ankle. Reach your left arm up and over. I've got to follow up with the building on the meeting room. My only concern there, and I know other people have done it, so I just need to make sure that with a mask on, if that's a rule, that I can still be heard. Otherwise we'll go back to, but I think we can, cause I, my friend taught for a long time with her mask on, on Zoom in her hybrid life. And then roll up, stretch your legs back out in front of you. We're gonna bend the right leg again. We're gonna bring it up and across, hook your left arm around your right knee, reach your right arm behind you, look over your right shoulder. Speaking of candles, I'm very excited. Well, my dad's birthday is also in November, so we're having a family birthday party next weekend. And come back to center. Extend your right leg out. Draw your left knee in. Cross your left foot over. Hook your right elbow around your left knee. Reach your arm back. So I get to go back to the town where I grew up, and there's some cute little, like, little downtowny stores where this woman makes, her mom makes candles and they're yummy. Look over your shoulder and then come back to center. So both legs out in front of you, feet flex, get those ankles off the ground, really flex those toes, guys, come on. And then reach your fingers out and slowly roll down. Engage your core one vertebra at a time. I know this is the least favorite part of class. One at a time, rolling down. You're getting stronger. Every week you do this, you're getting a little bit stronger until your head is all the way down on the ground. Bring your feet up, knees to the sky, feet on the ground. See if you can touch the backs of your heels with your fingers, we're gonna do two bridge poses. So pressing into your feet, shins move towards your toes, roll up through your spine, lifting your hips. Maybe you can shimmy your shoulder blades underneath, interlacing your fingers. Watch your belly, inhale as you fill it up with air and then Collapse as you exhale. And now slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Let your knees knock in together. You can walk your feet out a little bit more. Let your lower back relax. Breathe here. Walk your feet back in line with your hips, toes pointing away from you. You should be able to tuck, tickle your toes, tickle your heel, and then start to roll your spine up one vertebra at a time, lifting your hips into the air, reaching your fingertips behind. Maybe you can interlace your fingers 
bringing your shoulder blades closer together, bringing your chest towards your chin, your chin towards the sky. Press into your big toes. And then slowly exhale, lower everything down one vertebra at a time. Once your lower back is on the mat, you can windshield wipe your knees left to right, letting them come all the way over so you're twisting all through your torso, side to side. And then start to slowly inch your feet away from you. You can keep moving your knees side to side, walking your legs out, making your way towards our final resting position towards your Shavasana. Line up your spine so it's centered. Your right side is even, your left side is even. Let your feet flop out, let them relax. Let your palms face up to the sky. Breathe here, notice how you feel. Bring your energy and focus to your toes and your feet. Tighten and scrunch every muscle in your toes and feet together. Squeeze them in, tighten them up, squeeze, and then let them go. Shake them out, let them relax. Bring your energy and focus to your shins, to your legs, to your knees, to your thighs. Squeeze every muscle in your legs together. Tighten them up, squeeze, tighten, and then relax. Shake out your legs. Let them relax. Bring your energy and focus to your hips and your waist. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your hips. Tighten your waist, bring it all in like you're squeezing it into center. Squeeze, 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 and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. Bring your energy and focus to your torso and your chest. Think about moving everything in towards your spine, sucking it in, tightening it up rounding it down and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. Bring your thumbs into your palms, wrap your fingers around them, squeeze them in, tighten them up, squeeze and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your arms, to your elbows, to your biceps, your triceps. Squeeze every muscle in your arms together. Squeeze, tighten, squeeze, and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. Bring your energy and focus to your chest and your shoulders and your neck. Squeeze all of that in. Tighten your shoulders, shrug them up, bring it in, and then let it go. Shake it out. Let it relax. Bring your energy and focus to your head and your face. Scrunch up your face, close your eyes, purse your lips, squeeze it all in, tighten it up, squeeze, and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. From the top of your head all the way down through your body, through your torso, through your legs, to your toes, tighten everything up, tense every muscle, squeeze, find every single muscle, squeeze, 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 and then let everything go. Let it relax. Melt into the mat, melt into your space. Start to slow your breathing down. Let your eyes close if you're comfortable with that. Moving into your stillness.
Start to slowly deepen your breath. If you're at home, feel free to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you want. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your feet. Maybe you want to reach your arms up overhead and take a big, long stretch. And then hug everything into a tiny little ball rolling onto one side. Doesn't matter which one. Hang out here for a few breaths, getting used to it. And then when you're ready, you can slowly press yourself back up to a seated position. I am here in the dark. And when you're ready, reach your arms all the way out overhead. Bring your palms to touch. Exhale your hands down through heart center. Feel the breath move throughout your body. I wanna thank you all for coming. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you all next week. Namaste. And happy birthday to me in the dark. Thank you, everyone. I'm gonna stop the recording.